We're getting dizzy up here. Second place in the Premier League after four games. Don't expect that to be the case after 38. But if we could be at least on that graphic in the top six, then we'll have had a very good season. We play sixth place to Watford in the first game today. We then have Leicester and Wolves. We'll be simulating the game against Bristol City in the Carabao Cup. We weren't quite able to do yesterday what I wanted to do in the transfer window. I'm still disappointed about that. I'm recording this episode just on the back of recording that one. So it still smarts a little bit. But hopefully in January we will be able to get the deals done that we want to get done. We tried to sign two players that you guys wanted and were able to sign neither of them. So we couldn't afford the centre-back and the right-back. Oh, just football agents. Morons. Regardless, let's do some business on the field of play, shall we? Another victory would go down very nicely indeed. We're on a run of three in a row. Watford starting 11. Dalberg, Messina, Turinariga, Lopez, Navarro, Hughes, Travis, Capu, Pereira, Jensen, Welbeck. I missed the uh, graphic on the way in. Well, Hughes, oh, a little ball roll. Malassia tried to read it. Foul was given there. Even though there wasn't really much in that. Jensen, oh, what a ball in. Please get to that, Jamie. Oh, he's just not got long enough legs. <laughs> Etienne Capu gives Watford a 1-0 lead. Captain fantastic for them after 20 minutes. Wonderful pick out. Beautiful ball. It was Takure that lost him. And Shackleton, he's just not tall enough. Ah, that's frustrating. Not the start to the game we were after. 1 0 Watford. Welbeck into Pereira. I'm very narrow at the minute, but I'm wary of bringing a defender out of position for. Worry of giving up extra space. Navarro into the middle. Oh, Ben, that wasn't the best of clearances. James Will Prowse makes sure that that goes away. A throw for Watford. He's only really got two options here, Navarro. Will Hughes or Jensen. And he's going to go for Will Hughes. And he'll find Jensen. Back to Travis. Hughes into the middle. It will reach Welbeck, but it's a good, comfortable save by Engel. We'll bowl that out. And then break centrally with Tyler Roberts. And he's got some pace to burn. And he can get into that gap. Divock Origi will shake off the man that's with him. Though he has been hauled to ground. Back to your feet, please, Divock. He's done that well. Oh, and he's gotten away from the defender well, too. And, oh, trying to step away from the challenge. Divock Origi would be a hell of a goal if he'd been able to pull it off. But Turin Origi is in the way. 35 minutes played. Shackleton to win that header. We're still waiting to get our equaliser. But it feels like it's coming. It might be yet. That pass was meant for Jared Bowen. But never mind. We've still got a throw. And we've still got the ball. Well, Prowse will bring that down. The curry is with me. I'm going to drill that to Jared Bowen. Take a touch inside on his left. Touch was pretty poor. Went backwards. Origi. Work the space. Divock. Just not on. Oh, Jared Bowen wouldn't take possession of it. Just not coming for me in front of goal. Everything I try at the minute is being blocked before we have a chance of worrying the goalkeeper. Lovely ball out to Will Hughes. Good tackle by Malasia. We'll try and go on a counter again and get this equaliser before half time. Takure against his former team, actually, isn't it? Origi through the gap looking for Tyler Roberts, who can't take it in his stride with a defender in close proximity. It looks like it's going to be 1 0 Watford at half time, but we are looking like we stand a chance of getting something from this, but it's probably going to have to come in the second half now. Shackleton in nicely to Bowen. Oh, beautifully through the gap. Oh, and Origi so very nearly turned the man. We are going to get a free kick. The foul was given. Now, Ward Prowse, is this in range for him? It's 31 yards out. It is a long way. We'll pop it there. And we'll uh, pop it there. And we'll try a bit of top spin. Time it. Oof. Was going wide, I think. Probably too far out to give it a go, to be fair. Better luck next time. Kapu. Nice floated ball over, but we get there. And Dukuro will send Alan San Maximin. I'd say away, but Tyler Roberts certainly is away. And he's in behind. And Tyler Roberts! Full confidence in my young man. Real Madrid may well have offered me £90 plus million pounds for him. He stays here.
One one. Well up, Calvin. It's done well there, Phillips. And Josh King will bring that down and accelerate away. Tuck that back to Phillips. Forward to Tyler Roberts. So Curry's kept that run going forward. A little bit more attacking freedom now. Abdullah de Corey, now that Calvin Phillips is on the field. Although because Calvin Phillips is now on the field, I don't have James Ward Prowse about to try and bury this brilliant free kick opportunity. Let's put it about there and put some top spin on it and time it green. And unfortunately, Dahlberg makes a good save because that was on its way in. Less than 20 minutes to go. Still level at 1-1, but our unbeaten start to the season will continue if it stays as is. Origi makes a good run. Oh, penalty given. Tripped. And a yellow card for the defender. I'm going to need to see a replay there. There didn't seem to be much in way of tangling feet. Was it just a push? Oh, he's pulled his shirt. A shirt tug and the referee's given it. Very rare that you see that given in real life or in FIFA. Josh King is apparently the man to step up. He's got the best penalties of anyone on the field right now. Jean-Kevin Algersan took a penalty and scored in the last episode. And Josh King does the same here. We're in front from being behind again. We've done that before this season. Actually against Josh King's former team, Bournemouth. 2-1 leads. The win streak might continue, let alone the unbeaten streak. It's the substitute, Josh King, but we'll use the other substitute, Dalbert. Then to Kure, Tyler Roberts, Josh King. Calvin Phillips, forward to Josh King. Got himself a goal, might get himself an assist. Whoa! Struck firm and hard by Jared Bowen, but not accurately enough, unfortunately. Minimal time remaining in the game, though, as they make a change. Penuranda and Alberto Penuranda on for them. But, as they just said, through Derek Ray, one minute remaining here for Watford. It has to be now or never. They've gone backwards, but now they come forwards. Will Hughes, I just need to get a tackle in. And Delbert's blocked his attempted ball forward really well. And away we go. And that'll do. Yes. Three straight, no, four straight victories in the league. We are a side to be reckoned with this season. We have only played Manchester United so far out of any of the big teams. But, but, we're beating everything that's put in front of us. And that's the most important thing so far, other than the opening game of the season that we threw 1-1. But you know where I'm going. We were the stronger side. They're doing really, really well. How difficult was it to stop Watford from creating a chance? We just played our natural game. So far this season, our natural game is working a lot better now that we've got the added quality in the side. Still second in the league and still playing and growing really, really well indeed. I've changed the passing regime. And now Alan Samaximin is the fourth player, sorry, fifth player in this uh, trading module. So hopefully we can help him get some more assists with us some added passing ability but it's Leicester up next for us we could go I mean I'm quite happy to stay in the top six but we're four points away from sixth place at the minute where are Leicester oh only one point from the opening five and they've got to come to Ellen Road this should be form wise at least pretty straightforward game never quite that easy though is it all right, Leicester's 11. Danny Ward in goal for them. James Justin, Retzos, Vogt and Chilwell. Silva, Yakuslu and Tiedemons. Iosi, Perez, Calvert-Lewin and Lang out on the left. Pretty unrecognisable as a Leicester City lineup, isn't it? Other than Ben Chilwell and Iosi, Perez. Yuri, was it Yuri Tiedemons in the middle? Oh, I've forgotten already. I'm really show, starting to show my age with my memory, to be completely honest, aren't I? Leicester have certainly made a number of changes to their side throughout the course of this save, but we have to be honest, made a couple of changes to my side, haven't I, throughout the course of this save, so we'll see. Who's better, new look Leicester or new look Leeds? Sure will. Movement down the line. Lang over the top, looking for Yuri Tino. Jamie Shackleton should have the pace to get there and does, but tries to feed a teammate and actually only ends up feeding Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who lashes that. 
Unfortunately for him, too far past the post. He went for sheer power, just trying to smash it into the net. That didn't work. Oh, neither did that for Jamie Shackleton. Hmm, Jamie, come on, mate. Your passing needs to be improved, please, my man. West Ham go 1-0 up against Chelsea. And this is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I'm worried about the run of Telemans. And here he is found. And he's going to get that to Calvert-Lewin. Engel with a save with his feet. Superbly done. And Nkulu will have that. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, that's a terrible pass, though. Played it far too far away from Jared Bowen there. And Chilwell could punish us for that. Malassi needs to win this header. And he has done. And Dukuro will play the ball away. And he finds the teammate that he had the pass aimed for. James Will Prowse on the counter. Origi's made a decent run. Bit of footwork, maybe. Go on, Divock. Is that a foul? It is. He does well at drawing fouls, Divock Origi. He does win a number of number of uh, set-piece opportunities for us. He was the one that won the penalty for us in that last game, wasn't he? With his shirt tugged. And he's played in here, and he's looked to turn. Couldn't get it past the defender, but Jared Bowen will also turn well. He's going to have to turn a number more times to keep the ball away from the defenders around him. That was meant to go to Divock Origi. And I've aimed it poorly. And now Dominic Calvert-Lewin could have been played in behind. But he's gone backwards there, Lang. We've been slightly fortunate that they haven't been firing on all cylinders offensively. We'll look for Rigi through this gap. And he's up against the so You can't have thrown yourself to the ground there that time, Divock. You can't win a foul every time. Just as I praise his foul-getting foul abilities. Goes and throws himself to the floor. Dives a little bit and we don't get the foul. Never mind, 34 minutes played, still nil-nil. So far, neither New Look Leeds or New Look Leicester are proving to be the better team. Oh, that's a nice little one-two. And Lang, oh, squares it, but he's overplayed it. Ayuzi Perez back to Adrian Silva, Engel saves. Oof. Corner to come in. When they laid that across the, the goal mouth there, I was certain that it was going to go... In and just be simply tapped in at the back post. That's going to fall to vote. Oh, Christ, he couldn't have come closer. Off the post from the centre back. Struck very sweetly. Really clean hit. And off the outside of the upright. Down the line nicely for Alan Sam Maximin. Can we end the half with a bang? Maybe still. I see Tyler Roberts arriving and he's the man we'll pick out. Oh, good save by Danny Ward. Brilliant stop by the keeper. Can't get to that first with the defender either to try and recycle possession for a second opportunity. We're going to be drawing nil-nil at the break. Really good chance that, but a top stop by the keeper. Only real place Tyler Roberts could go really was a cross goal there because of the number of players that were in front of him. There's an offside there, otherwise they might have been in on the far side of the box. Oh, it could have been one nil either way, but New Look Leicester and New Look Leeds are drawing. Here's Iosi Perez in behind with two minutes to go. Calvert-Lewin and only Calvert-Lewin to aim for in the middle. But now a few more arrive. Seems to be rather happy to hold this in the corner here, Leicester. That's how negative a mindset they're in right now, being bottom of the table. They don't want to push for a win. They're quite happy to settle for a point right now. Two minutes to be added on. I'm going to have to get this quickly forward. And by trying to beat the clock, we haven't beaten the man. It's a nil-nil draw against bottom of the league. Our win streak comes to an end, and unfortunately, that was probably the worst performance we've had all season so far. I didn't feel that good going forward, and evidently so. One shot. You would never have said that Leicester were bottom of the table on that performance, but fair play to them. They worked hard for that. Very hard. So hard that they were willing to give up trying to go for a win because they wanted to make sure they got their point. But our unbeat unbeaten streak continues it was Wolves next I think in the Premier League but there is a game midweek against Bristol City our defence deserves praise of what I'll say because they were the better team offensively a game midweek against Bristol City which we shall go and simulate now right Bristol, right, Bristol City at home in the Carabao Cup it's the third round We'll be simming with our rotation 11. Played in a 4-4-2 formation. Augustan and Williams, uh, Williams, Wilson up top. Uh, Gazaniga in goal. Dalbert, Price, Reed of Al Rose. Traore, Milner, Phillips, King. And then the two up top. They've beaten Blackpool and Plymouth to this point, Bristol City. So not really faced that tough an opposition yet. Teams in leagues below them. And Jean-Kevin has given us the 1-0 lead in the 11th minute. 
With 10 minutes to go in the first half, we still hold that 1-0 lead. Not much else has happened as of yet. Jack Clark comes on. They've equalised, actually, through Frey. Not what I expected in this second half. Rudevald out for Price. And we're going to extra time here. Oh, no, it goes straight to penalties now, doesn't it? And we're out. Oh, well. <laughs> Carabao Cup is never and has never uh, been a priority of mine in really any save other than the achieve and leave last year where we were trying to win absolutely everything. Jared Bowen would like to play in this next game and certainly you will be playing in this next game, Jared, because it's back in the Premier League and fingers crossed everything will go our way this time. We're still third in the table despite not winning our previous game. Uh, do, we, do I have enough depth in this squad to keep going? I think so, yes. That's why we bought players like Dalbert and Josh King. On paper, it looks like Wolves and Leeds are similar in terms of ability. We have to focus on playing well, better than we did against Leicester, and we will get the victory. We are basking in good form, but we must avoid distractions and ensure that we concentrate on the task at hand to get the victory this time around. Wolves away, coming up now. Wolves is 11. Drew Patricio in goal still for them this late on in a save. Doherty still there too, as well as Johnny. Kangin Lee and Den Donker as the two midfielders with Tabata, Jimenez and Tony on the left. Five at the back as ever for Wolves, although Doherty and Johnny will be expected to push forward and get involved in the attacks. More of a 3-5-2 going one way and then 5-3-2 defensively. See if Doherty and uh, Johnny tire throughout the course of the game with the amount of running forwards and backwards they do. We'll wait and see. But I would like to bounce back from that draw with a victory here if we can get it. Not that I wouldn't have liked victory in the previous game if we could have gotten it. Nice turn by Jared Bowen. Poor pass by Jared Bowen. Johnny. Forward to Raul Jimenez. Out to Tony. Looking for Jimenez again, who is going to be dangerous in the air. And so far, dangerous with his feet too. Which way is he going to go? Finds Den Donker, whose shot is blocked by Ben White. Working hard at the back to keep... A clean sheet. And away, please, Alan San Maximin. He's been doing that a lot at the near post. I think it's more the AI not having very good corners than it is Alan San Maximin being the most impressive uh, near post defensive player from a corner in history. But everything seems to be headed away by him at the minute when it comes to AI set pieces and corners. Hopefully, he can have an impact at the other end of the field as well. Origi will be played in here. We'll just look to accelerate away. And Tyler Roberts. Thought about going for a run, then it then decided not to. And that threw me a little bit there. Wall Prowse into Origi, can't get past the defender. Strong tackle by Wall Prowse though. Decore, Wall Prowse quickly up his feet. Origi to Tyler Roberts, back to Origi. There's Wall Prowse. Oh, do I shoot? Oh, he could have gone down. Tyler Roberts. Every shot for everyone so far in this game blocked at source by a defender, whether that be for me or for them. Eventually, someone will have a clear chance, and then eventually, someone will score. But I thought that against Leicester, and we only had the one bloody shot. Tony Shackleton does really well. Tyler Roberts has to run from behind the referee, but we'll get to that. And he's gone again. Time it right, so that the defender doesn't get there. Oh, a really nice touch by Tyler Roberts. And devastating in the finish. What a player. Leeds 1, Wolves 0, and that was all, again, about the Origi-Roberts connection. Superb! 1-0 leads. Thanos. Lost Gates. Let's go. Oh, Decore. Superb defensive work. Really unlucky with the fact that it fell straight to Dendonka. Johnny coming down the line, trying to mark the man that's made the run inside. Togni. Johnny will lay that inside and he will find Dendonka. And he'll put in a really good cross. Good goal. Well played, Wolves. Raul wow, Jimenez is so good aerially. And he just it's on the back of Nkulu and then makes the run up towards the near post before Nkulu can react to it. Doesn't know he's there. There's no shout. To be fair, Nkulu should be more aware that there's a defender behind him. But if you're going to put yourself at a disadvantage, then Raul Jimenez is going to use his advantage to make sure he gets the goal. And he's done exactly that. 1-0 Wolves. Oh, the... Origi again winning a foul. Yellow card for Moore. 
It's a bit far out for James Ward Prowse, though, isn't it? Probably 30 plus yards from here. Oh, that's a long way out. I could, though, play it to Bowden. Okay. I don't really. Oh, Ben White. Oh. What's the point in me having a reticule to aim a pass if it then doesn't pass where that reticule is? Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a football game made by EA Sports. Of course it doesn't listen to what you do with the controller. Him and his. I'm glad that he's... Oh, actually, am I? Yes, Tabata on the end of that. I'm glad that Jimenez was out wide putting that cross in rather than being in the middle, potentially being on the end of it. Ward Prowse, Tyler Roberts. Ward Prowse again. Just going to get there, James. And he's away from the defender too. And I've got support here. The number 13 is ready and waiting, but he's not going to get there. And Diva Karigi restores our lead. Advantage Leeds United once again. I may have said new Leeds and new Leicester in the last game and then ended up drawing. But overall this season, I really do feel like we're a new team. We have driven forward with the progress that this squad has made with the right signings added to the squad by you guys and a couple of my own. And we're making such good progress. We have built a brand new Leeds United. And this brand new Leeds United feels very much like Leeds United of old. Challenging at the top end of the English First Division. Challenging in Europe. Oh, and very nearly 3-1. Ah, so close. And Donka quickly out to Tabata. This is good movement and good football from Wolves. Malasia soon puts that to an end, though. Tabata with a throw. One option, but I couldn't get to that option quickly enough. Yes, Malasia. Nicely done. Sam Maximin looking for Tyler Roberts. Move, please, Dibok. Yes, Dibok. Nicely done. Jared Bowen looking to get away from the defenders. Not going to score from there, though. But he's turned well and he can't keep the ball. Get to that. Jamie's done well. Give it back to him. No, we won't. We'll give it to Tony. Well done, Ches. Ah, oh, chopped him. That might be... Me in trouble. It is me in trouble. Um, right then. So I'm down to 10 men for the second time this season. I very, very, very rarely, rarely ever get red cards throughout the course of an entire save. And so fine, like nine games this season we've had two uh what do i do i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna have to go defensive i can't not let me go defensive and we'll do that drop a riggy there throw the core out there so there's not a massive gap up to the front three from the midfield too but the wingers will be my further forward almost playing like a false nine i guess Oh, man. I've so nearly got there with Dekure as well. It wasn't like it was massively late like the Shackleton one. The ball was there to be won. We just, unfortunately, didn't win it. Shackleton's done brilliantly there. We're going to have our work cut out here to try and stay in front now. It was Manchester United that we were playing last time we got a red card and we were still able to get the win, although it was 2-0 and they brought it back to 2-1 right at the death. Still going to have to work hard to keep this 2-1 lead, but maybe... Oh, we could add to it. We've half an hour to keep 11 man Wolves away. Roberts, last year. Oh, good footwork by Sam Maximin. And quickly on by Origi. Oh, have I run that too far? No! Delicious, delightful little dink from Tyler Roberts. It's 3 1. We might have a man less, but we've two goals more. Genuinely thought this touch from Tyler Roberts there was too heavy. But Patricia wasn't quite quick enough. Tyler has given us a two-goal advantage. Yes! Kangan Lee. Oh, Alan Samix, I mean, it's done really well there. Tyler Roberts can set us up for a counter. We'll give that to the Frenchman. And he's away here, Alan Samaxim out. Oh, he's really away here. Oh, he's really away here. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, he's really away here. Ah, oh, balls. But by what scoreline? Lovely run this by Lee. And he's got runners all around him. And he will find Raul Jimenez. 
who doesn't do what Tyler Roberts could. Lift it over the keeper. That's what he needed to do in that situation. We'll go to Tyler first. Rigi's made the run. We'll look for him. A one-two maybe. Or oh, we'll perhaps try to dink it past the defender, but it's not going to work. But never mind. Ha-ha! Who needs 11 men, eh? Not me. 10 men win against Manchester United. 10 men win against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Although I was already 2-0 up against Manchester United and I was already leading against Wolves, but we actually extended that lead with the 10 men. Again, I'm... I'm not sure if this is a red card challenge. I think it's because he's... As, as he's played the pass, he's turned. So, just there, see... So, the game has registered me as having come from behind. You could probably argue that that's a red card. But, I mean, I'm probably biased, aren't I, considering he's my player. If that was the other way around, I'd have been screaming for a red card. So, maybe I should just bite my tongue, eh? Won't bite my tongue here, though. Why didn't we get to see Josh King? Uh, competition is good for places. Team that start the regular 11 are playing really well. Mistakes happen, unfortunately, too regularly so far this season with regards... Our disciplinary record, Tyler Roberts was superb. An impressive performance from him. Really flourishing as he continues to grow. He's 81 rated now, Tyler Roberts. We're having a stupendous season. You're welcome, Jared. Keep it going, my man. Abdullah Dukore will be out for the first game of the next episode, but that's not to worry. Who have we got? Arsenal. Lovely. Arsenal, Liverpool, Palace and Forest. Probably play the first three and Sim the fourth, to be fair. We find ourselves third and we're still unbeaten. That might change tomorrow, though. Really might change tomorrow. But we shall crack on. And hopefully stay unbeaten, at least until the Liverpool game. Arsenal we can probably beat. Liverpool, I'm not so sure. Palace and Forest, definitely. I'd like to at least stay in the top four for now. We've got a bit of a gap to sixth. And if we fall all the way down out of the top six, then we really have gone on a polar opposite run of form, haven't we? But for the time being, thrilled with the way this season has started. We genuinely feel like a brand new Leeds United. Long may that continue. I'll see you tomorrow.